Hello, and welcome to another episode of Who the Hell is That? on TFB TV. I've been carrying the Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro since the day it came out. Since that time, Springfield has been releasing tons of add-ons and accessories, including 17 round mags. The one I'm most excited about is the threaded barrel. Today, we're gonna look at five reasons why you might want a threaded barrel on your carry gun. The first advantage a threaded barrel could give you on a carry gun is with the use of comps. Compensators are great on those big flashy open competition guns, but they also have a lot of use for smaller concealed carry guns. The smaller the gun, the bigger the recoil, and anything I can do to help tame that recoil a little more, I'm gonna take that advantage. Large handguns are more comfortable to shoot, and taming the recoil is a lot easier with a full-size grip. Now, the Hellcat Pro is not a micro gun, but it's significantly smaller than a duty size gun, say a Echelon or something in that size range and a compensator can help bridge that gap in recoil management. One of the best comps that I've found that works really well on this threaded barrel is the Strike Industries Micro Threaded Comp. I like the quad version. It fits through any of my open bottom holsters uh, that I already have. As far as the effectiveness of the comp, we did some maybe not scientific testing for you all to enjoy. Comps do have some disadvantages though. They make your gun louder and can produce more muzzle flash. So if you're shooting at night, there's potential for some blinding. Suppressors have seen a massive growth in popularity over the last few years. It used to be that suppressors were too big to consider for a gun small enough that you would conceal but that has all changed. More and more, we're seeing smaller and smaller cans on the market. Cans like the JK Armament CCX was meant to live in your pants. The thought of having to take an unsuppressed shot inside of a gas station bathroom has my ears ringing as it is. Kick his ass, sea bass. Many of us live our lives mostly indoors, so this is a real concern. Now you'll get some noise reduction, even with FMJ rounds. With standard velocity defensive rounds, you'll also see some noise reduction. We tested that with the G9 EHP rounds. If you're trying to maximize performance in noise reduction, you're gonna to wanna to use subs. Thankfully, we have these G9 126 grain subsonic defensive rounds. <laughs> the FMJ was clearly and obviously the loudest. The EHPs, we're a little bit better, but when it came to those subs, wow, night and day. Subsonic rounds have less velocity, which is going to affect performance at a distance. But down the road at a grocery store, you're still gonna need to call for a cleanup on aisle six. A longer barrel gives you higher velocity. Of course, there's a point where the velocity gain is not worth the size and weight. The threaded barrel adds just over a half inch in length. I brought some heavier defensive rounds also. These Sig V crowns are 147 grains and have a traditional hollow point bullet. 
So we brought out the chrono and tested the velocity difference between the unthreaded Hellcat barrel and the new threaded barrel. First was the SIG V-Crown. SIG V-Crown, 147 grain, 953, 968, 972. V-Crown, 147 grain with the threaded barrel. 986, 991, 1010. We did the same with the lighter bullet. The G9 EHP is 80 grains. 1531, 1519, 1532, 1565, 1544, 1554. Last up, we chronoed the G9 subs. 1042, 1019, 10.07. G9 subsonic 126 grain. 1040. It's asking if we want a software update. 1040, 1068, 1037. We saw an average velocity gain of 38 feet per second. The introduction of these Wonder Nines created kind of a sub, sub, sub category of carry guns that you can also use for other roles. There's no reason you couldn't run this through a two day pistol course out of an outside the waistband belt or use it as your home defense gun. In fact, that's what I do. I carry this gun and when I come home, it goes in the safe next to the bed and that is my primary home defense gun. Right now. Running this gun through classes and competitions gives me a lot more trigger time on the gun that I'm most likely to need. In a home defense role, sticking with the Hellcat Pro makes a lot of sense, especially with the 17 rounders and with a full size suppressor. I use the Silencer Co. Omega K can. I'm not concerned with length here because it's not sharing space with any other cylinders. A full size suppressor will greatly reduce the sound signature of your gunshot. We tested the same three rounds that we did with the JK can with this full size can. Uh, Sounds Co. Omega 9K. This is three FMJ, three G9 EHPs, and then three G9 subs. Two more. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> wow. Inside of a house or apartment, your ears are going to thank you. There's no reason I should gain permanent hearing loss just because someone decided to break into my house and threaten my family. In size, it's similar to a Glock 19, which many people use for their home defense gun. Um, it's just a little bit slimmer, and in the same configuration with the 15 round magazine, it's more than capable. Probably the most important reason to post anything gun related is to upset the basement dwelling soy boys who inhabit the deep, dark comment section. Is soy boys considered offensive? Yes. Who is it offensive to? Absolutely. Oh, okay, then who cares? To do this, I used the threaded barrel and other accessories to turn my Hellcat Pro into the ultimate precision gun. On the threaded barrel, I reattached the Omega K suppressor. You guys ready for some precision? I added an Atlas bipod to the rail on the front of the gun. For added stability, I created this beautiful work of art which is not a stock and never actually attaches to the firearm. It simply attaches to my hand. Is, it, is this legal? Hey James, is this legal? I'm not your lawyer, this is not legal advice. You are going to prison. We let this thing stretch its legs all the way out to 100 yards. This is gonna be at 100 yards. Just left. That was low left. <laughs> so if you want to be sure you're going to hit that target and you want to impress all of your friends on the internet, 
this could be for you. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.